Hello everyone, welcome on in. This is going to be the start of my modded Stardew playthrough. I'm very excited to go through this journey with you guys. Uh, I haven't actually tried doing uh, recorded long like uh, com forms of content, because usually I'm, I uh, stream instead, so this is going to be different for me. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy it. I went ahead and made my character because I take way too long <laughs> making my character. Like, I, I mess around with the colors too much, even though there's not really much to adjust. But uh, this is going to be me. I'm going to be doing Grandpa's Farm because I do have the Stardew Expanded mod. So I think that'll be good. And, uh... Yeah, we're going to skip the intro, because I'm not a first-time player of Stardew, obviously. That's why I'm doing a modded playthrough. This is going to take a little bit, by the way. Um, I have played through uh, the main story before, so this will not be a blind playthrough. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping we just have fun. Uh, I'm not the best designer, but I want to learn. I want to learn how to format my farm very cute. I might get some inspiration photos later to try and fuel my general ideas and stuff. Yeah. I, as you can tell straight away, I got like a cool little XP mod. Shows me what I'm up to in terms of skills. I don't know if I'm going to be leveling up the next day or if I'm close to leveling up. Got the oh, little missions to do Oof, i i this is my first time trying the um this is a med the medieval like uh revamp of all the buildings and stuff it looks very cute um we're just gonna start by just doing a little bit of cleanup you know you don't want to have a farm filled with junk <laughs> um i'm not exactly sure what my goal is for this playthrough yet um gonna be exciting to find out though uh yeah i am not sure who i want to romance either because i've only done only done a few playthroughs of Expanded so far. My first one is in the normal game. I do romance Sebastian. I am one of those people. I'm sorry. But I cannot resist. <laughs> um, and then in my first Expanded playthrough, I, I romance the wizard because I thought that was an interesting, interesting path to go down. This storyline was nice. I, I didn't mind it. Um, and then the second playthrough I did, I, I think it's still going. I mean, my friend and I haven't played in a little bit, so, but I was first off romancing Olivia, but she's a new expanded, um, bachelorette. I need to mine the rock, not the ground. <laughs> um... But the only thing was, I found that she was, um, her storyline was not that interesting. Which, I, obviously, I understand. She's a new character. She wasn't a part of the main game, so. The fact that there even is, like, new bachelorettes and stuff is so cool. And I'm, I'm glad that they added new characters. But yeah, I just, I don't know. I found her story didn't really resonate with me at least um and so yeah i'm i'm pretty sure a couple of the mods i added as well added even more like bachelorettes and bachelors to choose from so i'm intrigued to see what else we'll be able to pick from actually i could just check now uh let's see Um, 
Oh, I forgot that the um the seasonal outfits change the color of the wizard. It's pretty cool. Oh, okay. So, I thought I did add another mod that added more, but I don't think it's either not working or I had to remove it to get this to work. Because sometimes when you add a bunch of mods, some of them don't mix well together, so you got to adjust. Um. Throughout the series though, if you guys ever want me to make put together like a, a mod list of like all the mods I have, uh, do feel free to leave a comment and uh, let me know because I do I can put that together if need be. I haven't done it yet because still early days. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. Um, yeah, I really love Grandpa's farm. I did not know this hairstyle was pigtails. <laughs> Interesting. All right. Um, from the front, it did not look like that. I should have probably should have probably gathered that. Okay. Um. Yeah. I think that's a good. But I've used like all my energy. I. That's a good amount of cleaning, though. Let's get some Hoenn. Three. Oh, four. Five. Seven. Ten. Ten. We'll do like just by tens for now. Five, six, seven, eight, and ten. There we go. Uh Put all this down. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Oh. Always a struggle starting off with the, uh... Oh, I'm running out of energy. No! God damn it, I'm gonna get to go lay in bed. Well, I am in here. Um... I did also want to... This is going up, right? Does it not work anymore? You used to be able to... Maybe that's only a multiplayer you can do that, honestly. Damn. Alright. Um... I think. Also, the fact that the little mailbox is a bird, that is so adorable. And also, I love this, too. Very cute. Um, I might have to just sleep. <laughs> or I could just like, how much does it cost to... It costs two per, I would literally pass out doing this. Oh, and I got little visible fish. Look how cute. Um, well, damn. I'm just gonna have to sleep sucks i'm gonna need to get like some some energy items like mushrooms and stuff i should go s scavenging for them oh the beach gotta do that now everything's gonna be out of sync this is gonna trigger me so bad <sighs> it's what i get i cleared too much on the first day i got too distracted i'm you're gonna figure that out with me for a lot of things i I often get distracted. I might, um, I might lose my train of thought or end up not doing what I set out to do for a day. <laughs> okay, either way, we got everything planted. Um, and I do have a cheats menu. Listen, not, I'm gonna be transparent. I have a cheats menu to go quicker. I don't like being slow. So I do have a little bit of speed. I'm see I'm running around. Because honestly, look at this for me real quick. Look at, look at this. Look at how slow you are. This I can't I can't do that. So like I'm not gonna be cheating. 
I know that it's tempting, but like, I am going to do this as legit as I possibly can. But if I've got some more tedious things that I'm going to need help with, I might use it. But I will be transparent about it if I do, okay? Because as I said, this is my, f my first... Not my first. This isn't my first playthrough of this mod. So some things I'm just not going to want to deal with again. Which is fair. Oh my god, the bus! It looks so weird that they're coming out of this considering it's literally run down. These little bushes too. Nice. Where are all the foliage at? Oh, here's one. I should meet him, right. I gotta meet everyone. Of the Idian Biddy Farm, yes. Martin. Our time at Jojo Mart. You poor thing. Um, we are going to be going the community mart route, even though it can be a bit painful <laughs> collecting everything if some things are like seasonal. All these houses look so cute and a little sewer grate. I love this. Oh my god! Evelyn prides herself on decorating the town square. We love her for that. The little tables and the tavern. Oh my god, it's Morris's birthday today. I am nowhere near getting you 20 a cup of ore, sir. I'm so sorry. Not really, it is Clint, but... You know, I can pre I can pretend to be sorry. <laughs> hey, here's Harvey. One of the bachelors. Oh, she'd be here, but she can't. Alright. Oh, here she is. Baru. Nice. Okay, we've got yeah. Yep. He's the one who's gonna be robbing me of all my money. Hello. Abigail. Nice, nice. Be scooching on through. We're just gonna be passively meeting everyone. <laughs> Actual rubbish. What is this? Put it back in the trash. I love how the, the dog <laughs> has a little portrait. It's so cute. Hello, Dusty. We got Alex. We got George. Grumpy old bastard. Evelyn. So cute. Must protect. Oh, the trail looks nice. Hello, Pam. The fact that the um <laughs> the local alcoholic is the um is the bus driver is concerning, but you know, I've already met you. I don't need to talk to you again. <laughs> Jazz. Nice. Oh yeah, I do have yeah, I do have locators. So Emily is right above me. Nice. Hello, hello. Haley, she's in. Let me in. And Haley. God damn. Ah, huh. Marnie. Nice. We've got Sam in his room. No one else here. I could probably try and go to the library. I bet you that's yeah. It's where Penny and. Vincent R. I'm pretty sure Gunther is a character now too, unless I didn't grab that mod. Yeah, I did. Also, I love, can I just say, I love how with, I'm pretty sure this is mainly just Expanded that does this, but the fact it actually adds farmland around the place, it's so nice. Like, it makes it look so much more natural. It's like when you when you're looking at it in the normal game, it's like why am I the only one that's farming? <laughs> it's so confusing. Hello. But you seem okay. Oh, there's Penny. I'm pretty sure Gunther is a person though, right? Maybe he's not a person in this. No, he's not. Damn it. 
there's a mod that does make him an actual like villager which i feel like in the main game that was always missing the fact that gunther was just reduced to being like an npc that didn't even have like a relationship level you could build like why gunther just wants to collect things and restore his cute little library does this count if i talk to him even though i just all oh, right that's switching inventories i'm like what did i just do did i did that count it did easy hello morris apparently you can be you can actually have like a friendship with them what about gunther oh sorry pam Yeah, and there's this new house I forgot to actually look at. God, these guys have so much space. Like, they really wanted to say they're rich, rich. They're not even home. Why am I not looking at the map? Okay. Oh, poor Susan. <laughs> Blocked off. Oh, wait. Ailey is up in the community center? Or is she just like randomly standing near it is she up here no she is in the community center with a... oh no she's up here my bad there we go i love these bushes by the way on oh, the park oh i can sit on the swing i don't know why i'm so fascinated by that what about this? Oh, I can sit on this. I wish I could rock on it. Only thing missing. All right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We, I might go down this way. We should go check if, um, if Marnie's animals are different. Look at Kita! Look at them. Oh, so adorable. Look, he's in a backyard. Nice. I love the seasonal clothes mod. That's the one that's like changed all of their appearances. I love having like accurate depictions of how they would dress during seasons. It's very cute. Sorry, <gasps> he's full criminal. Give me one second, guys. All right, we are back. Sorry, guys. Thing. So everyone's got a little bird mailbox. Very cute. Oh, I'm just in love with these new buildings. Oh my god. Very cute mod. Out of my way. Okay. Um, well, do I have enough? Oh, it's 50 wood per chest. I always forget how brutal it is. All right. Yeah, I can't believe how many fish are in that little pond. <laughs> okay, now I can make a chest. Um, I'm gonna have my chests outside for now, just because I'm probably gonna eventually move them to a shed. And I... I don't want to have to... Actually, I'll keep that on me. I need to clear, clear some stuff. Um... I'm trying to decide what I want to keep on me. I'll I'll get rid of the rocks and the coal for now as well. Get some more wood. Always good to have a uh, wood supply because it's just needed for like everything. Same with stone. I always hate planting trees near the water because it's always my luck that it somehow falls in even if I'm facing the right way and it's like then what my poor resources all gone
I'm gonna hopefully whenever I film an episode have like a sort of goal in mind. At least for the episode. I don't know if I'll achieve it, but it's always good to have something you wanna do. Also, I'm gonna color these uh they like the blue. And I'll grab my drink can because I think I'm about to go to bed. I like how it's actually like getting dark at the moment. That's another mod I added, which is really cute. Actually has like day cycles. You can tell when it's starting to get late. <gasps> A geode. I wanna open it. Give me all the treasure. Also, I'm sorry if my uh my mic arm is a little loud. She likes to creak. Okay. I'm just gonna get um, as much clearing as I can done while I've got energy in the night, if I have a spare. I don't really mind progressing days, because, you know, I haven't really got much money at the moment to really be doing much with it. Keep, like, mining the floor, and that is probably infuriating, and I apologize. My coordination is horrid. Here we go. Oh, well, there's a little light at the front. The game did not like floating back into the, uh, into the house like that. <laughs> it was like, excuse you? Sorry for the, the long wait. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's raining! Uh, I should have probably checked the TV. I have a really bad habit of, like, not checking like, fortunes and stuff. Luck will not be on my side. Sad. The bird's gone when it's raining. That actually is such a cool little detail. Oh, what? Well. Love how Pierre's already advertising to me like I have enough of money. I am broke, Pierre. I do not want to hear it. May as well go open these geodes. Uh, yeah, they only cost like 20 gold, I think, to open the geodes. Okay, I'm trying to think of how... This, by the way, the, the goal of this episode, I know it's a bit late in to be saying it, but, um, you'll probably tell by the title, it's just to get started, you know, get used to being on the farm again, since it's been a little bit since I've played Stardew. I'm wanting to get back into it. And, uh, yeah, I think this is definitely going to be a cute little area for, like, chickens and cows and the sheep. This is a nice little gated area. I really wish you could, like, add... The one thing that I've always found missing from Stardew, having, like, the ability to, um, to, like, terraform, I suppose, like, make your own water sources and stuff, would be nice. Because, like, I'd love to add, like, a little pond in here, because I know that, um, ducks and stuff will go into the water, and it's super cute. Damn, there's so many different fish in that water. I'm gonna preface this now. I forgot to, t to turn on the setting. But, um... Where is it? I'm sorry. Listen. I... I like chilling when it comes to Stardew. 
but the fishing game, like the fishing mini game, it has no right being that stressful. I'm, I can't. I suck so bad at it. So I'm, I'm just gonna have auto catch on. And if that's something that put you guys off, I'm sorry, but I, it's just how I like playing the game. I just do not, do not find that part of the game fun. Okay, so we used quite a bit of energy to clear up some stuff. So we're gonna save what little energy we have left. I quickly put two more seeds down. There we go. Now let me go exploring. Wait, why do I have I don't even know I have either of these things on me. I don't have the inventory space to be keeping that stuff right now. Hello? Alright. Oh! Nearly walked right past this, even though I could... I was staring directly at it. Oh, I do also have a cool little info mod, so if... Let's say, for example, can we find someone to talk to right now? Yeah. Oh, unfortunately it's you, but I can bring this up. So this is like a cool little info thing. It, it tells me if I've talked to them, gifted them, how many gifts they've got left, if my friendship is at with them, if I can romance what their birthday is, and their loved and liked gifts along with... Oh, it actually doesn't tell me they're disliked, but I guess it doesn't really need to if it's already telling me this, unless I want to gift them trash which Maya Lewis is not getting any good gifts from me I'm sorry not really <laughs> I'm not sorry oh a bit of iron and a and a bread stick oh my god love being a little trash goblin it's great okay so if we go in here we will process some geodes. Boop. Nice. Huh. Okay, so the two new things for the museum. We can already... Look at me, day three, already having things for Gunther. I am... Oh. Not a single piece of the entire collection. This is where he's going to beg me for help. We got this. Gunther, I am here for you, my king. Now, <laughs> this is going to be difficult. I don't know exactly how to organize the museum. I feel like there's always like a certain spot you should put stuff in. But for now, I'm just going to put this in here along with this. And we're going to maybe sort them out later. We'll like move them around to be... A little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Ooh, some money. Oh yeah, I should also... I should also go visit Willy. You see how I get... When I go out for one task, it turns into like five side missions. I gotta... Gotta get this done. Pretty sure this is the beach. Here we go. Alright, so if I just accept that, I got a fishing pole. Nice. Got all the fishies. Uh, anything? Oh, What's this? A book. We buried this. That it was one of. What's his name again? Elliot. I thought his name was Elliot, but I, I doubted it for a second. But yeah, it's one of Elliot's poem books. I would not be surprised. A shell. Nice. Alright, I think this is Sophia's farm. Damn, she has a big farm. 
Here she is. Eek a stranger. Nice to meet you too, ma'am. I mean, I guess I'd react the same way if someone came into my house like that. Probably tracked water all through her house too. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh, the spring onion's gone. I didn't get to collect that yesterday. Or the day before, whenever I came down here. Here we go. Nice. Um, this... I'm pretty sure this info thing also works on items. It does. Needed for the full shipment achievement. Sells for 8 gold. 40 gold for the stack of... For a stack of 5. Harvey, Leah, and Linus like this. Okay. Oh my god. I will admit, I have a soft spot for this guy. He's he's such a cool, like, um, character. Andy. I, I've, I've seen a little bit of his backstory. I think I've seen a lot of his backstory from last time I played Expanded, and he's just so sweet. I feel bad for him. These bridges are nice. Oh my god, it's like... Damn, we, we're going to Silent Hill today. Um, I don't think there's really anything down there at the moment that I want. From the, uh, the uh, forest area. I'm pretty sure I can't go in here, because, you know... Yeah. The wizard, he's keeping his secrets from me. Damn, who do I want to romance? I just have no idea. Um, I'm going to introduce myself to. That'd be a good idea. To... Okay, 21 out of 31. That's pretty good. I don't have everyone's like schedules mapped out, so I, I literally do not know where everyone is at the moment. But I, I can check the map as well. Wait, why is it saying I'm on their farm? I guess it's because I'm pretty far down my farm. It's probably why the map's confused. Either way, I need to start making profit, so I'm going to sell some stuff. We're just going to sell this, this, and we'll keep the rest. I like keeping forageables. I don't know why. Uh, I just like it. Um... Damn, what do I want to do with the rest of my day? I have, like, no energy. I do have, like, a breadstick. 50 energy. Not bad. I feel like I should keep this, though, for in case... In case of emergencies, you know? Who doesn't have... Uh, in case for emergencies, like, breadstick? That is just... It's essential. I think we should do some fishing. Fish are probably really good for profit early game, right? Fishing's also like the thing that I usually... <laughs> oh my god, perfect, I wonder how. Anyway, uh, <laughs> fish is like... Fishing's something that I do the least out of all the skills. Like when I'm, when I'm doing a save, usually fishing is like last. I'm gonna... I'm only going to do it sometimes because I do want to collect the fish I need for, like, the packs and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure I do have a mod that involves fish as well, so I'm hoping that's working. To do with, um, maybe a possible new location, so get excited to see that in the future episodes. Damn, these fish just do not like me. I need to, like, make some room. I am flabbergasted right now. It's, it is the fishing rod. It's not that good.
Algae's also good to eat. It's like not the best thing, but it's like... It's something, you know? It's something that I can consume if I'm low on energy. Because honestly, the energy bar in the early game, it is rough. I've always disliked how it takes so long to increase energy. I just realized this whole time I've been playing, I haven't even gone up to, like, um, Robin's house area yet. I should probably go visit there to, like, meet Linus. Love Linus. Um, and also meet, like, Demetrius and stuff. I wonder how many energy fishing takes. Oh, damn. Throw out this rock. I know it's my prized possession. Alright. Got a few fish. Um, do I need any of these? I'm pretty sure it would tell me. Yeah, it does. Okay, so this, sh the shad I need. And then also the bream. I'll keep these two. They're needed for the community center. A small amount. Oh, I didn't check the sunfish. Oh, I need the sunfish as well. Alright. Looks like we're keeping all of the fish we caught. <laughs> well, that sucks. I wanted to sell a few of them. God damn it. Alright, we'll put that back. Take this with us. Put the here. Should we keep those on us? And then we will turn in for the night. I like progressing these earlier nights a bit quicker. Oh, level one mining. Just because I feel like you can utilize days better, the, like the more you have access to. Oh, look at that. Got like a couple of level ones. That's good. A whole hundred and forty dollars. I will not spend it all in one place, I swear. I, I actually will because most of my money goes to Pierre. But regardless. Um oh, let's do I think we'll do one more day. One more day, and then I think that's a good end to the first episode. Clear and sunny. Ah, huh. good fortune. Ooh. Damn, don't you just pick up your TV sometimes when you... Oh my god. I did it twice. Just random little facts. <gasps> the mail. A well, yes. 75 stone and a thousand gold. I love how they send you these advertisements so early, and it's like, I literally have like a buck fifty to my name. I'm not ready to be spending a thousand dollars on whatever you're selling. There we go. Up, oh, I watered the same spot twice. What a waste. It's fine. <laughs> Alright, let's figure out who I've got left to talk to. We'll, we'll get that done at least. Or at least beside the wizard, probably. Okay, we still have to talk to Olivia. Victor. I don't remember her name. Um, wizard, Sebastian. We got the Adventure Guild. Demetrius, Linus, Elliot. Oh, I didn't even meet Gunther yet. Okay. Sam. And woman I am forgetting the name of. <laughs> Damn, the slander right now. Absolutely just erased that woman's from the, from the narrative. No hate to her, I'm sorry. No forageables. Where, where is this luck? <laughs> I know that's not how luck works. I don't actually know how the luck works in this game. I'm presuming it like helps if you've got good luck to get like more drops and stuff. Another breadstick. 
course you're gatekeeping your trash. I see you. Um, are they in their house? They are, but they're not letting anyone in yet. Let me in. Let me in. Oh, it's nine o'clock. I thought it was eight. Yeah. There's a, there's, a, there's a little forageable there. I didn't even know forageable spawned on that area. God damn. When I'm sitting here thinking maybe I should have my, my run on four instead of three. <laughs> I'm just a speed demon. I like getting to my destination quickly. Alright. Look at the little... Also the little beds are different too. I got a little... Eat little reskin for them. Everything's just so cute. I like using the word cute. Oh. Jojo Net Trial CD. I didn't even know that had a description. Is that because of the mod? This is also an extra bit of farmland I can unlock later. Which, that'll be really cool. Having... I don't even know what to do with half the farmland sometimes. Oh my god. Are those little doggy fish? I forgot about those. Oh, they're so cute. I think they're really hard to catch though, so I'm probably not gonna bother. Even though it looks like there's like six million of them, they're actually supposed to be like a pretty hard fish to catch. But I don't think my fishing rod's even gonna do anything. Not that I have it on me. <laughs> Sitting here like, yeah, I definitely have it on me. What up? Victor. You're someone I haven't romanced. Olivia I romanced. She honestly... Olivia was kind of like... Don't come for me, but Olivia... She was kind of giving me Shane vibes, but like as a woman. She was... She's like a low-key and alcoholic. And like... It's weird. You'd think that you'd be able to help her come to terms with that and stuff, but... She... She doesn't change when she's married. She still loves... Getting crunk, which... You know, that's... There. I've already... Why am I here? I've already, like, talked to these guys. Alright, let's... Let's see. Who else do I need to talk to? Gus. His isn't open yet. Elliot's in his house. This is so useful, this thing. Like, being able to just tell where people are. It's always such a nightmare having to, like, figure it out on your own. Oh. The time, like... When I'd play default Stardew, the amount of times I would Google that damn wiki, I would Google it for everything. The Stardew wiki. I would just constantly be on that. Like, yep. I need a recipe? Say less. I'm going. I need this. I need that. Let me in! I don't want to romance Sebastian again. It's so hard not to, though. Oh, Linus! Hello? Can you? That's such good energy. Aww. I'm gonna gift it to Linus. I can't help it. I love Linus. He's so cool. I res much respect to him to like choosing to be homeless and stuff. Just chilling in nature. Oh, he's- what? No way this- Mod gave him a house? That goes against, like, his whole thing. Like, in the mod pack, like, in his story, it literally says that he doesn't like living in a house. Oh man. I actually don't like that. That's fine. It makes his, his little house look nice, don't get me wrong, but it's like he lives in a tent for a reason. It's like his whole story arc. He chooses to live in, in the, the nature. Oh my god. I have not found many of those little wriggly worms on the ground. Where are they? Where are they at? Oh yeah, I also have this whole other half to my farm. I should really get my scythe out. Why am I... 
This is so ineffective dealing with weeds one at a time. Um, let's put this in here. And we will get out my scythe. There we go. Alright, now. That's much better. Oh, now it's... Now I can't even... Oh, the one thing I don't like about New Seasons, it makes sense when you go to New Seasons and then, like, ev all the garbage just comes back after you've already cleared it. Oh, you can't even go to the greenhouse yet, but look at it! Look at the greenhouse. It looks so cool. Even if it's run down. Yeah, they, they gatekeep me and go, yeah, you have to upgrade your tools. Like, good hike, yeah. Well, looks like I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do some more fishing. I think this time, though... Why am I holding onto this CD? <laughs> I'm gonna uh, go to the... the beach to do some fishing. Because, you know, ocean fishing seems like a good idea. For profit. I haven't spoken to you yet. There you go. Jody. That was her name. Jody. <laughs> I don't know why I forgot her name. I'm so sorry, Jody. Alright, let's see. I love how I said that I, uh, I don't fish that often, and yet this episode I've, I've fished a lot, actually. <laughs> That's a gold, gold fish. That's actually nice, the energy it gives you. More than my baguette. Oh. Well, there's the normal seaweed. Like, look at that difference. I know this is a gold star version, but like, bam. I'm right on top of a fish. That should mean that I'm gonna get it, right? Uh definitely not how that works, but still. Oh, it just went dark really quickly just then. God damn. I feel like someone just turned out the lights. A chest? Oh shit. Oh, I don't want to get rid of some of this stuff. I'm just going to throw this out. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Rip that one piece of coal that I just threw into the ocean. Ah. Hello. Elliot. Random fact about Elliot, by the way. Um, if... I think if you play, like, the Stardew, like, theme, I think it is. Feel free to correct me, but there was, like, this Easter egg if you played. Because his piano actually has, like, little keys on it. You can play a, a song on it. And if you play, like, his, like, the Stardew theme, or one of them, it's, like, it actually gives him a bit of relationship. Like, an upped, um... 
his relationship gets better with you. It's really funny. I only know that because at one point I did try to do a playthrough. I didn't finish it. But I did try to do a playthrough where I romanced, um... <laughs> romanced good old Elliot, but uh, I didn't finish it, so I didn't actually get through his story. Okay. Um, I do have a, actually I do have a little bit of energy left. I will do just a little bit more a little bit more of a of this. I don't think I'll be doing any off camera um progress just because it this game is like a day by day thing. I don't want to like interrupt the flow of the game and be like you, I'll, I'll record next time and then suddenly I'm like six light years ahead and be like, hi guys, so I did a little bit of decorating. <laughs> the, the aim of this series is, even with some of the grindier stuff, I'm probably going to be recording it. I might not... I might do like a time lapse sometimes of those things and maybe just have like a little music over it so you guys can see the process. And then, like, afterwards, we can continue on. But, uh, yeah. I still have so much energy. Let me, let me like, do a little bit more. Some uh, little seeds. Put these down. Those where we grow. Stuff back in here. And yeah. We are ready to go to sleep. Thank you guys so much for being here for this first episode. I hope you enjoyed. Um. I'm going to aim for, like, minimal editing because this is, like, more of just a long-form vibe content, as I, I said earlier. So I will catch you guys for the second episode very soon. Um, make sure if you want to, if you want to get notified and all that, please make sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!